the first uh, voting rights issue I want to talk to you guys about today is voter ID. Um, voter ID is the voting issue that makes the most headlines. Um, it's very politicized. Um, it can be very controversial. It gets a lot of people pretty excited in both directions. Um, there are 34 states, I believe, that have some kind of a voter ID requirement. Sometimes they require it to include a photo. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's strictly enforced. Sometimes it's not. Um, it varies by state. There are um, still several states with no photo ID requirement, and Nebraska is actually one of them. Um, most people are pretty surprised to learn that, especially folks from out of state. Usually states with our um, conservative political makeup have a strong voter ID law, and we don't. Um, but not for lack of trying. Um, there have been voter ID laws discussed in the Nebraska legislature for, I believe, 10 consecutive legislative sessions, 10 years in a row. Um, proponents of voter ID argue that uh, showing voter ID is a way to prevent voter fraud. Um, voter fraud, which is, there's a number of versions of voter fraud, but essentially if you are a voter and you cheat on election day, you've committed voter fraud. Um, voter fraud is perceived by many to be a really widespread problem. Um, but opponents, on the other hand, point to a lack of evidence behind these fraud claims, and they argue instead that um, a voter ID requirement across the country makes it more difficult for eligible voters to participate in elections. So um, the two things you consider when you're discussing voter ID laws is, um, is there evidence behind your claim? And number two, how do you weigh that evidence versus potential evidence that it could make life harder for voters who are not trying to cheat? Um, so that's the primary um, framework behind a voter ID law. As, as with everything, there's a lot of political nastiness behind it, sometimes on both sides. Um, but it's a, it's a topic that I work on a lot. Civic Nebraska is kind of considered um, the, the lead opponent of voter ID laws um, every year. So that's just so you know where my position is at um, on this issue. Um, but I don't think people who support voter ID are evil, so it's okay if you disagree. Um, I'm going to pause here and I want us to watch um, one of the next videos that is either going to be linked to or uploaded. Um, I don't know if any of you watched John Oliver last week tonight. He covers a lot, actually, a lot of voting issues on his show and he's much funnier than I am. So we're going to watch a quick 15 minute or so video um, on voting, which covers voter ID. And then I'll come back and kind of give you Civic Nebraska's position and then we'll move on. So check out the John Oliver video on voting. 